Woo! Looks like we shook him off. Who were those guys anyway, and what was all that about Napoleon? Um... Huh? Oh, did you say something? No, just... thank you. All in a good night's work. Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. The names are... Phantomar. And this is my trusty sidekick, Fondue. What? What? You... You're THE Phantomar? In the flesh! Er, but don't get the wrong idea, I don't steal just anything, only the artworks I really need. If you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? Home, as quickly as possible. I don't think that's such a good idea, those knights are probably out there scouring the streets. I've got an idea, how about you come to my place? It's a little run down, but they'll never find you there. Oh, I wouldn't want to intrude. No problem at all. As long as you don't report me to the constables, of course. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I can't turn you in. You saved my life. My name's Marie, and I'm pleased to meet you, Phantomar. Likewise. Okay, Marie, follow close. I'll show you the way. And welcome back to Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. This is part 7, I believe. Last episode, we fought an uphill battle trying to crown a mission, and we lost on the very last note. And then we scared a guy off with a bulldog sound so we could get past him. He was a constable, so we scared him away. And then... After we scared him away, we started heading back home, and then this girl comes along and she's running and these people are chasing her and she's holding a violin and the violin has the same marking as is that your bracelet of Tiamat has and you're wearing this bracelet and then they both glow together and then you have to fight all these guys off and it's horrible. It's horrible. It's just horrible. Okay, but that's... Uh-oh. I seem to have missed my stylus. There it is. So that's what we did last time. Let's head back to our apartment, shall we? Here we are. Are you sure it's okay, me dropping in like this? Your family won't mind? Not a problem. Fondue's the only family I've got. Oh. He says that so nonchalantly, or maybe I just said it not so non- Let me, Let's make it dramatic. Not a problem. Fondue's the only family I've got. <laughs> Is that dramatic enough? Oh, My dad left about three years ago and my mom died in a car accident when I was a kid. Now I feel bad for trying to make it sound dramatic because it got really dramatic just there. Oh, I'm so sorry, and she says that with a smile on her face. Hey, no worries. Come on in. And he had a smile the whole time. What a cold bastard. Oh, uh, hang on. There! Shazam! Alakazam! This is the real me. My name's Raphael. Well, nice to meet you again then, Raphael. Guess it's easier for you to hide in plain sight dressed like this. You know, we actually have something in common, Raphael. I don't have a family either. I was left on a convent's doorstep as a baby. I don't even know what my mother looks like. My only possession was this. The violin left on the step by my side. I've always dreamed that one day I'd become a famous violinist and my mother would recognize me. There has to be a reason she left the violin, right? Maybe she knew you'd have talent. Sorry, let me rephrase that one. Maybe she knew you'd have talent. Do you think I could see your violin for a second, Marie? Sure! 
and touch the violin. You recorded the violin. This violin was resonating with the bracelet of Tiamat. I wonder what it means. Sorry, what does it mean? I just mad libbed there. Or <laughs> ad libbed, sorry. Mad libs, fun, fun game. Huh? A switch? The strings, they're glowing? Wait, there's a pattern. Maybe if we match it on the violin, something will happen. Ah. Uh, pretty simple game. And that's it. I guess I could have explained that a little better, but you know what? We're over it now. Whoa! Huh! Looks like letters of some kind! The dragon crown sleeps at the foot of the Holy Mother, lulled by the Princess of the Moon. The dragon crown? Weren't those knights saying something about that? Napoleon's lost treasure! What's this about a princess of the moon then? Actually, I think it's the title of a song. Huh? Something else was left at the convent along with the violin, Raphael. A musical score. The song was called Moon Princess. Okay, so if Moon Princess is a song, what's the Holy Mother? Well, maybe it's talking about Mother Mary. Mother Mary, Mother Mary. Say, doesn't Notre Dame mean the Mother Mary? Yes! Our Lady, the Mother Mary. I think we should pay Notre Dame, Notre Dame, sorry, Cathedral a visit on our way back to the convent tomorrow. Who knows what we might discover? And sleepy time. And awakey time. It's a bird! Good morning, Marie! You play beautifully! Oh, I'm sorry, did I wake you? Don't be sorry. I can't think of a better sound to wake up to. Ruff, ruff. Fondue agrees. Well, thank you both then. Let's get ready to hit the street, shall we? We got a big day ahead of us. We might just find out the truth behind the strange code on the violin. Alright, let's head for somewhere. Oh, head to Notre Dame Cathedral. My bad. Here we go. Let's see what this fella has to say. Ho, ho, if it isn't Raphael out on a date. Good morning, Simon. No, it's not a date, thank you very much, but I'm afraid I can't help at the store. Pas de problème, as they say. Don't you worry about me. I'll be fine on my own today. Thanks. Ha, ha, ha. It's me who should be thanking you! I couldn't do what I do without you. I'll be back to help as soon as I can, promise. Have fun! Okay. There's gotta be a medal somewhere around here. Tee hee! What's so funny, Marie? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just I feel like I'm seeing the real Raphael. And that's funny? No, 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 but you are very different from Phantom R, I'll have you know. It's kind of, well, a relief. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I hit the camera. Very unprofessional. Here's a little chicky chick. Oh, a little chicky chick.
Okay, there was a metal there. I don't know where it was. And I think there's a metal right here. Nope. Right there? Nope. Right there. Nope. Here? Nope. There. Nope. <sighs> there we go. It's up there. Like I said, right there. Five medals. Let's see what this lady has to say. Oh, I mean man. Wait, is it a lady? Wait. I don't know. Is that... Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> With the cathedral here, Petit Pond is one of the busiest bridges in town. Tourism is good for the city, of course. But it certainly keeps us constables busy. Which takes our minds off the embarrassment to the bureau which is Phantom R. It is in these little ways that we improve the lives of all Parisians. It is our calling, our duty, and our pleasure. Did you know that our um, headquarters are in the Paris Constabulary right next to the Notre Dame herself? The inspector is an inspiration to us all. I only hope that someday I can rise to his levels of manic busyness. Dark Knight Rises comes out tomorrow, by the way. Okay, anyways. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it was a man or a woman, so I wanted to switch up the voice a little to... Well, accommodate both genders. And here we are at the Notre Dame. Notre Dame. This place sure is quiet in the morning. It won't be when the tourists start arriving. Let's take a look around while we the looking's good. The dragon crown sleeps at the foot of the Holy Mother, lulled by the princess. Lulled by the princess. I got a feeling we're on the right track. Shazam! Let's go, Marie. Okay, I think if we talk to this fellow, he'll give us a new rhythm game, but I'm not going to play that rhythm game because it sucks. Zut zut zutalo! Something wrong? I just opened the second location for my famous Echo Militaire restaurant. And the customers, they don't stop coming, which is good, of course. Not so good as when your head chef quits after one day. Perhaps I was too strict. Now we are booked for dinner tonight. And I have no one behind the stove! How can I turn my customers away? What am I to do? You, do you cook? If you do, will you help me? Just for today? I beg you, monsieur. Actually, never mind. This isn't the one I was thinking of. Let's do this rhythm game. This one's fun. I thought it was going to be one with the dog, but... No. Shoot. Something just fell. Okay, let's do this. Maybe I should aim you guys at the right screen. There you go. Alright, and this one, well, maybe I should aim you at this screen first to explain it. So sometimes he'll throw you something and you just tap, but if you need to cook something, you have to hold. No, never mind, that's a different one. Sorry. Touch and hold to cook, slide to plate. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of a different rhythm kitchen, I guess. All right, let's start. Whoops. Wait. This is the one that I was thinking of. I suck at it. Train wreck. We're doing well.
Alright, well that was a little better after a little while, but still. Oh boy, okay, so you have to hold the stylus for a certain amount of time, and then slide it to the right to throw it back to the other person. That was pretty horrible, that was a terrible play. Sorry about that, but you know what? We roll with the punches, and we just, we just roll with the punches. When I asked if you cooked, I did not expect a chef of iron. You must cook for me, you must! Please consider it, at least! Alright, now we're on to the Notre Dame. Oh man, my favorite, one of my favorite songs is coming up. Let's hope I don't suck at it. I'm just showing you the picture there. Look, a stained glass window of the Mother Mary. It's beautiful. The dragon crown sleeps at the foot of the Holy Mother, lulled by the princess. Hmm. Wait! That's it. The song. Marie, your violin. What? You can play Moon Princess, right? Play it now. All right. This song is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So this is what it looks like, slide in time with the arrows. It's a lot more like Rock Band, this game, this mini game, rhythm game, whatever. This is a lot like Rock Band, where it's going to be a sliding, it's sliding towards you, and then you slide left and right in time with the arrows. So if an arrow is coming from right here, I slide to the left. If an arrow is coming from right here, I slide to the right. So there you go. Let's hope I don't fail this. I hope, I don't think I will. I don't think there's a danger of me failing, but you never know. I hope the sound wasn't too bombastic for you not to be able to hear the amazingness that was that song. Yahoo, I did it! Yeah! 167 combo, 314,000 points, that's what I'm talking about right there! That's what I'm talking about right there! Right there! Alright, anyways, I think there's some story coming up. See? The stained glass window is reverberating to the sound of the violin. Look how the panes react to the sound. There's more to this window than meets the eye.
Transformers! Sorry. Maybe I should be a little more serious. Ah. Uh, I forget how to play this one. Okay, it was a memory game. You're supposed to memorize the panels and where they are. We sucked at it, basically. So, there you go. A hidden compartment! Hold on, there's something inside. Got it! Let's see. Think it's the dragon crown? I don't know. It looks kind of, uh, well, incomplete. The metal feels odd, not iron, and I don't think it's brass either. What could it be made of? Well done, my little friend! Merci for finding the crown for us! You again? Us again. As long as you remain in Paris, you remain within my domain. Now, give us the crown! And here comes a new rhythm game. Oh my god, I love this one. Sorry. I don't mean to make you guys jealous of not having this game, but this game is pretty awesome sometimes. Sometimes it's pretty awesome. Sometimes it can be kind of annoying, I'll be honest. Alright, so basically... The same thing that we did with the other game where we hit the control pad if they come from the left and A from the right, except this time it's just the A button, so we just, oh god, that was very unprofessional. So we just hit the A button when we see them drop from the ceiling. You'll understand it. I hope. Alright, Destroyer Dalib Balik. We should be safe here. You okay, Marie? I'm fine, thanks. Shazam! Alakazooie! 
Wow, what was that? It only lasted a minute, but I had this strange sensation of incredible power. In incredible power. Did I just imagine that? No. No way. What is it, Raphael? It's... nothing. We've got the dragon crown. You should be getting home, Marie. Which convent did you grow up in? saint Lure. It's not far from here. saint Lure convent? You're right, that's not far at all. Let's go. Alright. And when we come back next time, we shall take Marie back to her convent. And we will see what happens in the story next time. Peace.